Okay, so now that all the repairs have been made, I've gotten a really good coat of primer on the wall. Now my paint should go on really nicely because the plaster has been repaired, all the holes, everything has been sanded, so it's relatively 100%, but not quite 100% because I couldn't take the time that would be necessary to make this room 100% because that would take quite some time because remember we're dealing with a house that is 100 plus years old so there's lots of work that need to be done to make it 100% but what I've done thus far is so so much better than it was. I couldn't imagine myself just putting paint on the wall with a few minor repairs because this room was just really really in need of repair so I feel a lot better that I've gotten the walls as flat as they are and everything is looking pretty nice so I'm putting on the first coat of paint of course I like to do two coats because one coat of paint just doesn't look very good to me it seems that to me paint really starts to pop when there's two coats on it and of course if there's any little spots that you've missed the second coat really gets them because as you can see I'm painting pretty close to the wall so I can see anything that I miss up close but of course sometimes there are little spots that I miss and of course I can see those after the paint dries that second coat is really what helps get all the paint where it's supposed to go and it's nicely covered so once I get this color on I'll come back do the second coat then I'll get ready for the trim and then of course the trim has to have two coats also because it really wouldn't make sense to do two coats on the wall and one coat on the trim because the trim would be the same thing the paint wouldn't necessarily cover as much as I would like it now I don't know how professionals paint but I like to do two coats it does take time painting is not for the faint of heart you have to have some patience because you can't put paint on the wall any faster than is allowable because paint will run and it does have to have time to dry there has to be a little time between the first coat and the second coat because that first coat needs to be tacky so that when you put the second coat on it'll actually have something to stick to and once that's done it'll get dry over a period of time and it'll be really nice so now of course I'm doing the trim paint so of course like I just said this will take two coats then once I do that I'll take the tape off and of course I use this blue tape because it does help sometimes when I feel like I can really spend some time out freehand the edges and things like that but I'm on a bit of a schedule now so I have to use the paint have that define my lines but of course when I take the paint off there's always some paint that gets underneath so I'll have to go back with the blue paint and tighten that up and then may have to come back with the yellow paint to tighten up the blue paint. So it's a process. So this is the way it goes. Once I finish with the trim, both coats, I'll come back and shoot a couple of images so that you'll be able to see what the paint looks like when it's finished with both colors on and everything is ready to go back as far as the curtains and things like that and that'll be the end of it and of course once I finish that I have to go to the dining room now the dining room won't take quite as much work as this one has but there's going to be some work to do there and I got a feeling that there's going to be a lot of dust created because I have to take down some of the plaster that's actually on the wall because it sticks up in places a lot of places so that over time when dust falls it just adheres to these spots that are sticking up so I'll have to take care of that so come back check that out for the dining room and we'll see you when I complete that next video thanks for watching like share and subscribe we'll see you next time